Yo, what's up, guys? Today's gonna be a different type of video because I'm gonna talk about a competition I went to. Cursal Open in my homeland, Belgium, with 69 competitors. Now, the goal of this competition for me was winning it, which I had never done before. The first round of 3x3 was at 11 in the morning, which meant that I didn't really have time to warm up or anything. As you can see right here, I went for a yellow cross, and I think it was a pretty easy cross, but for some reason, I messed up the second pair. I did some rotations I didn't need to do. Like, you can see me do double rotations here. But lastly, it was really, really good, which gave me a 9.5, which isn't great. But if you look at my last competitions, you can see that I messed up all of them, except for the 8.7. 7.5 PR average. Now, truth be told, I have been practicing for the last couple of weeks at home quite a lot, so I do expect to do a lot better during this competition, but uh, the second solve, you can see me switch cross colors just last minute, which you should never do because I had no time to predict my first pair, so probably I didn't know what to do. And that kind of shows because I did two rotations. Then I did... I don't know what I'm doing right here, to be honest. Because I'm rotating a lot. OLL, major lockup. And PLL was just terrible. Like, like you can see me touching my second cube just out of awkwardness. Even the judge wanted to get rid of it. It was that bad. But obviously, we as cubers know that having one bad solve isn't necessarily bad. Because in an average of five, the worst solve and the best solve don't count. So as long as I don't mess up right now, I can still have a decent average. Right now, you can see me inspect the yellow cross so probably something nice is gonna happen the start is pretty okay as you can see right here last pair is kind of awkward some nice ols and actually the jeeper was really good so i think this was a pretty decent time okay okay we're getting there i think for the first round i really wanted to have a low nine second average because at home i average under nine seconds but for some reason i always mess up at competitions but once again expecting yellow cross i think i found a solution pretty easily so but i do some weird d moves over here i probably messed up the cross there a fancy back insert easy last pair a really solid last layer and bam seems like i have myself some crowd guys i think the ending was pretty solid but because of the mess up in the beginning i got a 10.3 which is not good and because i got an 11 before this 10.3 was counting which meant that there was no chance for me to get a really good average although if the last solve was the best of the average it could still be a mid nine average which is not embarrassing <laughs> Giving myself a plus two there during warm-up. Probably bad luck for this solve. Maybe a little forecast. So I'm struggling to find a cross color right here, which means that the scramble is not good. Like I ended up with white. I should have probably just gone for white earlier if I see it's a bad scramble. And here we go. It seems like I have a pretty solid start of the solve, although I messed up the third pair. The last pair was pretty good. OLL and T perm. Really solid last layer once again. This seemed to be a pretty good solve. Let's see what it is. Bam, your boy still got it. 8.3, which is pretty good for a full step, even for me. But on my scorecard, you can see that besides the 8.3, I don't really have a really good solve, which meant that the average was 9.6, which surprisingly enough was good enough to win that round. So since I was getting some lockups during the first round, I decided to slow my cube down a bit. Adding just one drop of Angstrom Compound X noticeably makes the cube more controllable, which was a good thing. This is, by the way, the Yo Cube Deluxe, the one that I used to break the national record. I thought, you know, let's go back to my roots and use a cube that I've shown I can get really good times with. So this is the start of the second round. At this time, I was able to warm up a bit, so... This should probably mean better results, right? And surprise, surprise, the cube you're seeing is in the Yo Cube Deluxe version 2, but actually the MGC Evo 2, which I brought with me as a backup cube because the Evo 2 is a good cube if you turn really accurately, which I was doing right before the second round. And I thought, you know what? Let's switch the cube. Maybe this means good luck, but surprise, surprise, that didn't happen. <laughs> Because I already started locking up during this G perm right here. I decided to not even show the time. I mean, it was probably that bad. But you know, as I said before, one bad solve doesn't make for a bad average. So the MGC Evo 2 still had a chance to redeem itself. I'm going for a blue cross here, I think. And the start is... I don't know what... To, I, I honestly don't know what to say about this. I think it was pair by pair, not anything amazing. Last layer, COLL, U-Perm, one of my favorites. And it was a 9.15, which I can't really complain about. 
But because of the 11 as my first solve, I couldn't mess up at this point because one more bad solve meant a bad average. By the way, this video is sponsored by the cubicle.us. I mean, .com. Come on, guys, at the cubicle, please give the Belgian competition some more new cube covers. But anyways, the third solve, I'm going straight for the white cross, which usually means something good because I used to be just white cross solver, then I switched to color neutral, but I feel like I'm still better at doing just white and yellow. So I started doing keyhole, then I have a free pair over here. Then I think I messed up somewhere because I think I did five pairs. Then I tried to do the COLL, which, which I inspected really badly, but then a really, really fast cuper. But still, I messed up because I took my second cube out of embarrassment. Like, bruh, please don't look at me. 11.9, which meant the average was already ruined. But since there's two souls left in this average, I could potentially get two five second souls and save the average with a counting 11. So let's see if that happens. Going for a red cross right here for the fourth solve. Start pretty good. I, I couldn't find my second pair, the third pair, big boss, boss for the fourth pair. COLL once again, major lockup, another U perm. I wasn't even able to finish my U perm because of the lockups I was getting. And it seems like the MGC Evo 2 failed here. I even switched my cubes because I just can't accept three 11 second solves in a single average. Now, you guys can probably see that at this point during the competition, I was kind of losing hope because once again, I averaged around eight and a half seconds at home. Getting 11 second averages just wasn't, <laughs> wasn't the plan at all. So hopefully I could redeem myself with this last solve and perhaps get some hope back, you know? Seems like I was going for a green cross right here. Pretty, kind of weird start, honestly, because I did a weird rotation, but the last three pairs, pretty solid. OLL and a PLL skip, which got me a seven second solve. I wasn't too happy with that, honestly, because the only reason the solve was good was because of the skip. Still, I got a fist bump, so... I guess sometimes we just gotta take our luck. So accounting 9 and 2 11s made for a 10.78 second average, which gave me second place for the second round, which suddenly meant that there was a chance that I wasn't winning this competition. I knew I had to do something about that, so the first thing I did was apologizing to my main queue by giving it a new sticker. Like, look at this. You guys remember what this is from? This sticker set comes with the new York queue, by the way. So I did some warm-up souls because the last round had to be my best round of my life. I mean, it didn't have to be the best round of my life, but it just had to be better than the last round. If I, if I wanted to win, you know. So I started with yellow cross, which is a good idea because even looking at the footage right now, the yellow cross was just the, the way to go. By the way, man in the back, don't look at the scrambles yet. Like, you have to compete in a second. But anyways, uh, last pairs were kind of weird, but I got an OLL skip with a pretty decent F perm which gave me an 8.2. And that's really good, especially because when you start the average, you want to start with good results so you know that you can at least mess up one time. So starting with an 8.2 is good for my mental mood. We're going to do white cross here. Really, really good start. Really good flow of the solve, to be honest. Pretty decent OLL, nice PLL. That was just a really, really solid full step solve. And honestly, at this point, this was the first solve I was actually proud of during this competition. And also, the national record average of my country is 8.2, which suddenly meant that I had a shot at that. Because remember, at this point, we can still mess up one solve. And you can definitely notice that at this point, the flow of my F2L was just getting way, way better. But I was still getting some pauses, and honestly, the cases for the last layer weren't ideal. But aside from that, I still got a 9.4. Even with the 9.4 counting, I could get a nice average. But at this point, I was really aiming to beat my PR average, for example, of, of 8.75. Because we have a counting 8.2 at this point. So two more nice souls means for a PR average. Let's see if that happens. This solve blue cross, pretty okay after well. COLL and H perm. There was this slight pause during the H perm, which I think cost me about 0.3 seconds. But still, I got an 8.8 .8 second solve, which meant that I had two counting 8 second solves. And even with the counting 9.4, I was pretty confident that I had won this competition. But the last solve could make for a PR average of 5. Not national record anymore, because I think the best possible average at this point was 8.3. But anyways, wide cross, I think. And here we go. Nice cross into a 3 mover. But right here, you can see that I had a major lockup, which was really unfortunate. Sledgehammer, OLL, and a really fast JA perm. Now, what was the time? 
8.9. And I was really, really happy with that because I got an 8.67 average of 5, which is PR. Now, I did get a lockup in the last solve that wasted about a second, which would have made it an 8.3 average. But that didn't matter because look at this. And the winner of Pusel Saturday Open with a time of 8.67, Milan Skype. This was the first time I won a QB competition, which was a major goal of mine. And I'm really, really happy about that. And all thanks to this amazing cube logo. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Ciao, guys. Are you nervous? 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 Are